more than just the talk of the town. It's a viral video seen and heard around the country. A Jaguars fan punching a Texans fan during a game. So you've heard from people in the stands about what they saw and what they heard. Now the man on the receiving end of that punch is breaking his silence and telling his side of the story. Yeah, he and his wife spoke exclusively with our Nikki Kimbleton. Nikki, I can't wait to hear what in the world happened here. Well, good evening, Joy and Ken. You know, the reason that, that Jana and Cameron Patrick talked to me is because they wanted to set the record straight. You know, they say that, yes, they are Houston Texans fans, but they moved here to Jacksonville in January. They say no, they were not drunk at the game, and they also say the fight was not their fault. And as you're going to hear from them, they say fans, even police, have their story all wrong. There's this, this dream we had, you know, that we, a few years ago, we put into place that we were going to start, go visit every stadium. Jana and Cameron Patrick had been looking forward to this game ever since this year's football schedule came out. It showed their beloved Houston Texans would be coming to Jacksonville. But they say shortly after arriving at the stadium, they started wishing they had just watched the game from home. We get to the front of the stadium to walk around to our gate and we start hearing, this is why we built a wall, you need to go back because the couple with us was Hispanic. The Patricks brought two friends to the game, also new Jacksonville residents as well as Texans fans. They took it in stride, but once in their seats, they say the taunting continued. It got so heated, Safe Security, the company that manages safety for the stadium, sent employees to their section. They were there when the Patricks say the man who would eventually sucker punch Cameron got in their friend's face once again. When he turned around and screamed, you stupid Mexican, just go back and make tacos, she chucked her beer in his face. Just a few minutes later, this happens. Cameron was knocked out. But the Patricks say until now, no one knows the rest of the story. People see this. This is now how we're portrayed. And they don't care. They don't care to know the truth because the truth may not be as good as this juicy story of drunk couple starts a fight. It's not were some drunk redneck fan that just went to start trouble. We, we wanted to watch a game. That's it. I had had one beer. He was actually on his second when this happened. The Patricks yeah, say not only not were they sober, that they were trying to end the fan. arguing. So take a look at these two still frames from the video. Cameron says that after the beer was thrown, right before he was punched, his wife, who you can see right here, and their two friends, they were walking down the stairs. The stairs are actually right here. She's standing on them right now. They were all leaving the game. He also says that right over here, the man that hit him, you can see his fist cocked back right there, he had run up to their row, and he was in their seats. What are you saying to the guy right before he hits you? Right before he hits me, I'm tur I turned to him as we're trying to leave, and I apologize for her throwing the beer. And all I said is, I apologize for what she did. Let me get them out of here. This happens next, and that's all there is. Do you feel like you were sucker punched? Oh, absolutely. I had no idea it was coming. I thought that he and I were done. From here, Jana runs back up the stairs, and she admits she snapped. She regrets that, and she's banned from the stadium because of it. Cameron remained on the ground for a couple of minutes, but once he regained consciousness, they were both taken away in handcuffs. More than anything, I don't understand why. Because you were just trying to leave. Correct. They also question how, because as the video shows, security was already there when this happened. You know, I've read one of the statements was, oh, they commend safe security for getting there so quickly. They didn't get there quickly, they were there. So your training needs to be a little better in these situations. They need to understand how to handle these, how to prevent it from happening, not just stand there afterwards and clean up the carnage. We reached out to Safe Security to find out why they didn't interfere prior to the punch. Management said procedure and protocol were followed and responded in part, we in no way condone the behavior. The two individuals involved in the altercation were ejected from the stadium and had their ticket purchasing privileges rescinded. And even though we asked, they would not release the name of the man who delivered the punch. Did they say anything to you about pressing charges? Absolutely no. not. Never asked us anything about, do you want to press charges? Do you want to do it? And quite frankly, there was so much going on. We wouldn't think we would have to ask. Uh, I would assume that as an officer, if you saw that happen, 
it would have automatically been done. So here's the thing. It's not automatic. The charges would be filed, which really was a surprise to me and quite a few other people, including the Patricks. According to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, the reason nobody was arrested was because nobody involved wanted to press charges. However, the Patricks tell me that isn't true. They claim that they were never given the option. In fact, Kent and Joy, they, they say that they were just escorted out of the stadium and immediately taken to their car and never offered the chance. Well, this is so interesting, Nikki. The Patricks, are they seeking legal action? Because you said that they don't even know the name of the guy who threw that punch. They don't know the name of him yet. We don't know his name, and it's really frustrating for them. So here's the thing. They have reached out to Jacksonville attorney John Phillips. He is now helping them. them. They do want to file charges against this man that hit Cameron, and they're in the process of trying to do that right now. So also, coming up tonight at 10, with social media posts promising revenge, when the Jaguars play in Texas in a few weeks, there is a message that the Patricks have for any of those Texans fans that are planning any kind of retaliation. In fact, they're going to tell us what they would like to have happen instead. I'm going to have that part of my exclusive interview tonight on the 10 o'clock.